Wait, who's gonna die? I gotta die? Am I gonna be the one that dies? Are they talking about me? Are they talking about me? Oh no, they're talking about me. I'm talking about you. I'm gonna die. I'm talking about you. Oh no, I'm talking about you. Uh, talking about me? Talking about you. Oh no. Uh. Let's learn cryptical envelopment. What is going on, my favorite people? You know what it is. It's another episode of Play Dead. And as always, I'm that dude that teaches you all the Gravel Dead songs, Davey. If it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified when we when we drop content because there's a lot of content dropping all the time. All the time. Okay? But anyways, today... Today we are learning the cryptical envelopment. Now, why would I ever do this song? It's weird. They they rarely ever played it. So the song came out in 68 on Anthem of the Sun, like we talked about last week. It was it, part of the That's It for the Other One suite, which uh, this segment of it, the cryptical envelopment segment, it was actually written all by Jerry. Jerry all by himself. This is all this is a Jerry all the way through. This is all all Jer Bear. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so it's fucking weird. This song is is uh this song is straight ego death this song is about uh having a mental death on dmt to me to me you are the one who has to die you're always the one that has to die all the leaves returning to watch you die it's just that's just the way life is that's that's the way it decided to shake out my friend just just how it goes i think that it, it definitely encompasses uh what what you go through when you have an ego death on a or have an extremely profound psychedelic experience. That's just me. Uh, so I've I've had some DMT trips to this song, um, and it it definitely does help that ego death along. It's a, it's a, it's just one of those songs, man, where you're just like, why, why, why is this a thing? But I'm I'm glad it's a thing. I'm thankful for it being a thing. But it's it's weird, and there's some rough chords in here, guys. So be prepared. There's some weird shit. So uh, it breaks down like this. There's the verses and then the what section. I, I don't know if it's a bridge. It's it's kind of it's kind of just its own thing. It's strange. It's like a little aside almost. I want to call it a bridge. I want to give us this the the graphic, this graphic. But I don't know if I can, so I'm not gonna. That was what you get. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it the what section. Or it's very King Crimsony. So I almost want to call it the King Crimson section. But I'm gonna leave it as it is. We're gonna do it like that. Okay. So we're about to jump into our verses. But I want to explain to you. There's two. the The lead line takes place while the verse is being sang. So I'm gonna teach you the chord progression first, and then the lead part that goes over it. Right? Okie dokie. So let's get on into these verses, children. All right, guys. Welcome to the verses of critical development. Critical development. Don't get your feet wrapped in cement. You're gonna fall down. You're gonna drown. You're gonna go down to the bottom of the lake. Sorry. Okay. Here's how it breaks down. Right. It's it's pretty simple. Uh, it's it's a little weird, and you'll see how it's pretty. It's it's kind of similar to. Uh, the other one, or uh, the rounder we, or the faster we go, the rounder we get. Whatever you want to call it. There's that, uh, you know, that step down in the, um, in the verses. The coming around. So it's it's it, there's there's kind of a step that's similar to that. So we'll we'll get to that. So I'm gonna play through it real quick, and then we'll break down this part, and then we'll do the lead section, and then I'll break that down as well. Okay. So let's uh, do it. The other day they waited. Was dark and faded. So they stayed yesterday. You know he has to die. And all the children learning from books that they were burning. Were
Okie dokie, children. So how this is going to break down, you're going to start on an E chord. So the other day they weigh. And on Ted, on the way Ted, you're going to go to an A with no third. So you're not going to put your pinky down. It's just going to have this, this nice open ethereal sound. So you're going to do a regular A chord, but you're going to take that pinky off. Okay, so the other day they waited. You're going to stay on that. The sky was dark to E again. Faded. And then this is that weird, that weird step down thing. Now we're going to go from an E. So I like to do it up here because it keeps that same chord shape, that kind of A chord shape, right? So it's going to do a solemnly they stated. Okay, so we're going to go E, D, C sharp, B, A sharp, B, D. Okay. Solemnly they. And then on stated, you're going to do a slide from A sharp to B. Stay. A sharp to B to D. Stated. Stated. So you're making a bar for that A sharp. You're making a bar on the third fret, right? Stay. So then you're going to slide up to the fourth, so stayed in, up to that seventh fret for that D, okay? Stayed in. And then he has to die, you're going to go back to that A with no third. I It says A, but I like the A with no third on it, because it just kind of like keeps the, the theme of that in this song running. So, solemnly they stayed in, he has to die to G. You know he has to so if you know Jack Straw, there's that, you know, there's that chromatic walk down from G. So it's that same thing in this song, right? So. And all the children unknown from books that they were That same walk down again. Every thief was running to watch him die. To G. No, he has to die. That same walk down again. And then, but that's going to lead you into the what section? Or the bridge? Or the core? The other part. <laughs> We're going to go to that other part. That's that's where that, that gets into. But now I'm going to show you the lead section. Okay? Let's do it. The other day they waited. The sky was dark and faded. Alright guys, so how it's gonna break down, you're gonna start on this third position E here. This E right here, right? On that ninth fret. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on that G string on the ninth fret and that B string on the ninth fret. That's how you're gonna do this. So we're gonna start on the G, so and hit that B. So but and then you're gonna go to the eleventh fret on your G string. And then you're gonna go to that ninth fret on that B string again. So buddha buddha. And then you're gonna go to the ninth fret on the G string. So and then you're going to hit the ninth to 10th fret on the B string. So got it. So that's the, the other day they waited. Got it. If you need to break it down like that, you can do it like that too. So the other day they waited. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to slide up to A now. So we're going to slide up to this A here on the 14th fret. You're going to be on the, the, the G and B strings again. So, But now you're going to start 14, and then you're going to hit on the, on the G string, and then you're going to hit the 14 on the B string, but then you're going to trill on the, on the, onto the, the 15th fret, right? And then you're going to go to the 16th fret on the G string, so... Right? And then you're gonna go back to that 14th fret on the B string. So. The sky was dark. And then you're gonna hit that 14th fret again on that G string. And then you're gonna go from the 
14th, or no, the 15th to the 17th fret on that B string, okay? The sky was dark and faded. Got it? Okay, so this is now, this is when we get to the walk down part, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide up on the G string, just an indiscriminate slide up, I just, from wherever, to hit that 17th fret on that B string, so. So you're gonna go 17, 15, 14, 12, 11, 12, 15, right? Because we're doing that same thing, that E, E, D, C sharp, B, a sharp, B, D. Suddenly they stated. Right? And then from there, we're going to do this thing. He had to die. We're going to do 9 to 11 on the D string. And then we're going to hit the 10th fret on the B string. He had to die. And then we're going to bend on the 12th fret on the B string. Back down to the 10. Then we're going to do the 12 on the G string. No, he had, no, he had to die. No. So 12, 10 on the B, 12 on the B, 10 on the B. Right? Da, da, da. No, he had to die. No, he had to die. Right? It's just right around there. No, had to die. 12, 10, 12, 10. That's that. No, he had to die. 12, 10, 12, 10. No, he had to die. No, he had to die. Right? So then you can do that chromatic walk down from the G down to the E from that 12th fret on the G string. And then you're back there. Okay, so you've got that down. Uh, I'm very proud of you. That's like, that's a big chunk of it, but this next part is is weird and kind of difficult. So beware, reader beware, you're in for a scare. Little R.L. Stein's little goose bumpy, little bit of Midnight Society, whatever. This song's about you dying, whatever. <laughs> whatever, your argument is invalid. So let's get into uh, this, uh, this rough patch. So uh, I hope this, uh, I don't, I, I don't think I'm going to teach a solo today just because there's not really, there's not really a whole lot to teach a solo over. Um, I mean, I could do something over the a no third and G thing. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Um, but anyways, let's move on to this. Uh, the what part. Okay. All right. The sun will sun. All right, welcome to one of the most confusing and weird things that you're probably ever going to see in a while. Uh, this is what it looks like. You should be alarmed. It's going to hurt your fingers. It's weird, and it's a little difficult. So just be prepared. I love you. We're going to get through this together. Everything's okay. All right, so I'm going to play through it real quick just so you kind of see what we're working with here, and then we'll break her down. All righty? The summer sun down on him mother could but frown on him and all the others sound on him but it doesn't seem to matter all right all right boys and girls this is how it's going to break down okay so you're going to start on an e so you're going to do that walk down again that same walk down that but this time you're going to land on an e minor instead of an e major okay so now we've hit a little bit of a key change the summer and then on sun you're gonna hit a G so E minor summer to G sun and then we're gonna go to D major but I like to go to this D because we're about to do a little bit of a walk down and I'd rather you do it here where it's a little bit easier than down in first position okay so we're gonna hit this D so the summer sun 
and look down on him. And then we're going to hit a C sharp just to like, a, just to do the chromatic walk down. And then we're going to do this thing with a C with no third. So you do a C like this, but we're just going to do it almost like you would do an A minor, but you're going to bar here. So you have this C here, but you're basically just going to take that third out, which would have been the B. So you take the B out, but you still, you still bar down here, right? You still bar. So you've got these two here, barred here, doing a C with no third, right? So you've got your, your C no third, and then a B no third, and then an A minor, and then an A minor add G. So you're going to take an A minor and then add your pinky to this third fret here on the E string to add a G. So cool. It's weird. I told you. It's rough. It's a hard, it's a hard bitch. Okay, so E minor again, so the summer sun look down on him. C sharp, and then the C no third. And mother could to B no third, but frown on him to the A minor add G. Alright, and then this is weird. This is a D minor over F. So you're gonna take you're gonna make a G shape here on the second and first fret. So you're gonna make that G shape right there, but then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ring finger, put it on the third fret on the G string, and then you're gonna take your pinky, put it on the fourth fret of the B string. Dumb fucking chord. And all the others. So you're gonna just move your middle finger up a fret, so. Which turns it, now we're a, instead of being a D minor over F, we are now a D over F sharp just with moving that or that's what the charts tell me then we're gonna do an E minor over G which is this bullshit or you could do an E minor add G but this is what it tells me an E minor over G is which is your your ring finger on the third fret on the E string, your uh, your pointer finger on the first fret on the A string, and then uh, your middle finger on the second fret on the D string. This this muddy nonsense, and then a G sharp. I just hit the note because that G sharp open chord that they gave me, I'm just not gonna do. So you can call me a pussy if you like, but I'm just gonna hit a G sharp, and you can't do, you know, or you can just do a full G sharp. Uh, but or, or G sharp seven, but they're saying a G sharp open. You can just do whatever. Hit a G sharp, hit a G sharp, or hit a G sharp. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and you, I'm talking to you. You can come give me some shit about it. Fuck you. <laughs> Deal with it. I shouldn't even be doing this song. This is a weird song. Why did I do this? Because I have to do all of them. That's why. That's why. Just suck it up and deal with it. I love you. This is a fun song, anyways. Um. So we've got those weird chords, so and then we're gonna do an A minor, but it doesn't, and then we're gonna do an F sharp seven, add an A sharp. So that's what it's gonna sound like. You're gonna make an F sharp seven, but then you're gonna take your pinky, add that E on there. I I mean, I could be very wrong, but this is what I'm doing and it sounds right. So tell me whatever. So, and all the others sound on him, but it doesn't seem to matter. Then you hit a B7. All right, and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this one. It's uh, I'm sorry that that was a lot. You did really well. I'm proud of you. I know that those chords are are bullshit. I know that it's bullshit. Uh, but just for a little bit of fun, why don't we do a little bit of a lead? over the the a no third and g parts how about that let me uh let me set up a loop real quick and we'll do it and uh we'll get this uh we'll get on out of here because i appreciate your time and i appreciate you being here and uh being a part of the family and uh i'm really happy that uh you know you have decided to uh put me and toby into your your lives and uh, i'm glad to be part of your routine your weekly routine hopefully your daily routine we do a lot of stuff here daily you know e whatever <laughs> All right, guys, I got this loop set up of this A with no third and a G. It sounds pretty. It sounds pretty. Uh, so I'm just got my green screamer on and a little bit of delay just to sweeten it up a little bit. So let's just uh, 
let's just boof around with this little bitch and uh, get on out of here because I love you. Here we go. Hopefully that was all right. Um, you guys are the best. Thank you for coming for uh, another episode of Play Dead. Be sure to check out everything we do on the channel every Tuesday or Saturday, depending. It's kind of flipping right now. So either uh, so watch out for a drink and a joint. Watch out for our podcast. It comes out on Saturdays live streamed or on Tuesdays when we don't live stream it. Uh, every Monday, there will be a either a Grateful Dead stream where I'm playing with my band and we are playing at a hemp store and streaming that live to the channel or Toby and I are writing music. So every Monday, there's a stream. Every Friday, there's me, uh, the live chilling jam. So it's me on the channel and I'm doing the thing. This is every Thursday. Toby show loose beats is every Wednesday and there's just stuff all the time. Go join our Patreon uh, for five dollars a month just for five dollars a month. That's our entry level. Boom. You get a shit ton of stuff. Uh, there's also a twenty dollar and a hundred dollar level. Whatever. Just join up. Just come have fun in the Discord. Whatever. You know, do do whatever you want. But please go join the Patreon or you can donate to the channel. Whatever. Um, you guys are the best. You guys are the best people that I could have ever asked for. This this year is shaping up to be really cool. Uh, I've got a, a, a team up with Jeff Williams coming down the pipeline. I'm working on like some exclusive pedals for you guys with Aaron Shepard from Hembry Guitars, also known as Sheptronics. We are working on some like actual like some like Jerry pedals for you guys, like some, some, some really cool stuff. Um, and I, I know that to some of you pur purists out there, if I'm saying anything about anything, uh, it'll probably be coming to question what the fuck I know. And it's not a lot, but I bet you'll like these pedals because, uh, at least Aaron knows what he's doing. I'm just a pretty face. So, uh, be, just be on the lookout for everything. Okay. So, uh, get, get at me get at us. Uh, you, you guys are, you guys are awesome. You guys are literally the best thing that has ever happened to me. So I love you all and uh, good night.